Hey guys, it's Rhea. Welcome to this. Today we're going to be talking about this Rapid Dry by OPI. I bought this at Ulta. I think it was expensive-ish for the size. I've never opened this bottle. The bottle opens like this, I guess. Do you get this much? This is what it says it does. Mist on Rapid Dry nail polish dryer 45 seconds after applying final coat of nail polish. And I'm going to be testing out this throughout a week or so because I've done first impressions in the past and come to think of it, I don't really believe in first impressions. The first impressions sometimes are like wrong and you just end up loving something if you use it again. I'm just going to paint my nails, so I'm just going to be using my cell handsome bottle because it takes a long time to dry. Oh, by the way, I'm using press on nails. I have my timer here, so I'm going to just wait 45 seconds. It's like this. Well, okay. Do you get bubbles? I'm going to line this one too. It smells nice. Doesn't smell like perfumey nice, but doesn't really smell like bath. Doesn't really say how long you have to wait for your nails to like be fully dry. I'm just going to. I don't know, you guys, how long do I have to wait for this? Like two minutes? I don't know. Do I touch them? Ooh, doesn't feel sticky. Like I don't want to press too hard because I'm going to be adding like you know, fingerprints all over, but just gonna wait for three more minutes. I'm not going to stop this, but I'm just going to uh, place the camera on the other tripod. I'm just going to touch this nail to see. This one is still sticky, but this one is dry. The more nail polish you add to your nail, the longer it will take because obviously you're adding more polish, but that's like with everything. I'm just going to keep on painting my nails. Okay, it's been almost five minutes. I think it's time for this one to be dry. And it's getting there, but it's not like fully dry. Okay, I'm going to just press it. Pressing it after five minutes is then still not dry, but this one Still got some fingerprints, but not that many. I'm guessing it's because I added a lot more nail polish to this one than I did in this one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to give this one a try again. Start all over again here. So it's been like a minute. Place it like that. It um, kind of like drips like from there. Do you see that? It's closed, like really closed. So I did that, I'm just going to count again. Like every time I spritz, product comes out. I guess it's from here, from this part. This part seems clean, but it's messy and you get product all over. Look, just from there. Can you see my... It made a mess on my phone. Oh goodness. Anyways. Oh, this happened too. But it's not dry. It's a proof. So I'm just going to give this four minutes. Oh, I don't know. How long should you wait for something that it says that it's going to dry fast? Like five minutes? Maybe less than that? They always said just add your nail polish in thin layers instead of like a thick one. But for this price, because this wasn't like really, really affordable, you know, it shows the most expensive one to make a review on this. This should work for this price in any like thick that's my hey my mentality it's gone okay here we go here comes the truth guys it's dry but a bit sticky this one is drier I think I added a lot more nail polish on this one than this one this one is dry so I'm just going to go and finish all my nails my bottle I was using it like this so I decided to just use this like that so I just done my nails again I'm going to just I don't know how much either is it enough? And see, nothing happened to the bottle this time. It's clean. My suggestion is just using the bottle like pss, 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 like that. And I used to use the Essie Drops one. I made a review on the channel if you want to check it out. But those uh, were drops and they are kind of messy. That's why I decided to just go for a spray form. And they are dry. I can touch them without them being sticky. A few things that I feel like you should consider for better results with this one. Don't use this like this. Use this like sending up and then just go like that. Because it's less messy. Up until this point I haven't really found any fast drying like drops or liquid or anything like that that will work with really really thick um, nail polish, like really old one. One thing that I would just recommend you is to try things like um, nail polish thinners. I made a review on this one. If you're gonna check it out, it's going to help you a lot. So I'm not really sure how I feel about it 100% now. Just gonna test it out a few more times. So it's been two months, guys. I've just did quite a lot, and this is how much I have left. 
and to be honest I love it I really do it's a bit less affordable than other brands like the one that I showed you and there is like a huge you know spray can that they sell at Ulta and it's fine I've tried that one but it's a little bigger at the same time and I don't have the space for that but if you do and if you want to save money just go ahead and buy that so, one yeah to wrap it up I really like it I would recommend it because I like the size of it I like how practical it is that it's not like glass because I've dropped it a few times and I like how practical this one is. It's not too oily and it's really fast to dry nail polish. The only bad thing about OPI is that as far as I know they are not cruelty free. That's why I don't buy their uh, nail polishes anymore. But I'm not really sure about the process when they make this sprays. If you know, let me know for sure. I do my nails every week. If you do your nails every other day, you're going to run out of it a lot faster than I did here. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you like this review or if you want me to make more reviews, do give this video a thumbs up and let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more stuff and don't forget to share it so more people can watch. Thank you so much for your time. I'll talk to you on Wednesday and take care. Bye guys! If my camera would focus on my nail, that would be great. My camera takes forever to do this. <sighs> Bless me. You know, this nail, this finger is driving me crazy because of that nail that I didn't glue correctly. Sorry about that. This looks like a spider on my hand. So I'm just going to let this thing do its thing.